Hey, 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 what is it do, baby? It's the kid, it's the one, it's the only, the degenerate demon coming at you live. And I am super excited, you can hear it in my voice, because I am actually having fun in Modern Warfare today. I know, it's surprising. Because all I'm getting is noob lobbies now, son, and I'm going to show you how you can get endless noob lobbies too. This is without reverse boosting and killing yourself a hundred times, I promise. So what up, Infinity Ward? You want to keep skill-based matchmaking in the game? You better be sure we're going to exploit this shit until you change. It. So let's just say Joe Seesaw, I am the captain now. Let the fun begin. Alrighty, my doogies. So I'm gonna show you guys how to exploit the skill based matchmaking system. I just want to say thank you to all my recent subscribers and viewers. My channel is growing every single day, and I really appreciate it because it's all because of you. I really appreciate it so much because I put a lot of effort into recording and editing these videos for you guys. So if you guys appreciate all the work I do for you, if you want to support me, hit that red subscribe button down below, and I'll keep bringing you the fire content. You really have no idea how much it helps me out. You guys are the best. I love you all. Let's keep building this community. So go ahead. Smash that like button like you smash your girl. Let's see if we can hit 15 likes this video. That'd be super sweet. And as always, drop a comment down below if you want to chat. And if this helped you out, let me know. So let's get into it. So what you want to do first, play a game. Yes, the first step is literally that easy. Play one game and try to do as well as you can. Play this game in a playlist that you actually enjoy because this is most likely what you're going to be playing next round against all the noobs, dudes. You want to try to do as well as you can in this game, but make sure you stay until the end. The reason why you want to stay until the end is because you need to get the match summary at the end of the game. Another reason why this works better if you do well in your first game is because you most likely will force somebody on the enemy team to go extremely negative. I know, trust me, I feel bad for them too, but not as bad as you're going to feel when you destroy the next lobby you're in. So you basically want somebody, preferably two or three people, whether it's on your team or not, to do extremely bad, like super negative KD. If that happens in this game, or if you can force it to happen, then it makes things that much easier when you perform the exploit. So I'm just going to play this normal game try to do as good as I can so that hopefully I force at least one person to do really badly. And yes, I know, for somebody who hates on Call of Duty as much as I do, I got the Nikto bundle. It's actually pretty sweet, like the Kilo blueprint is super cool man, and you should totally buy it too, use code BALLSACK for 10% off G Fuel. Relax, I will never be that guy. Now don't worry if you don't do well in this game, because you don't really have to do that good. It's just a lot easier because, like I said, you're gonna force somebody to go negative. But if you don't do that good, it doesn't matter, because somebody will usually go negative in this game anyways. You know how Modern Warfare is. This game is fucked, so somebody's probably gonna go negative. Little wheels in there. Yeah, Rex, son. Are you crazy? Are you stupid? Making my way downtown, rolling around, killing people in the Wilson. Diddly diddly do. This game's kind of hilarious because these guys are actually pretty bad themselves. I'm already like Korean Savage in this bitch. But trust me, in the next game, I'm gonna go Korean Savage as hell. Rolling around in the Wilson, killing everyone in vacant. Do do. Doors can't save you. No, no, no. Easy victory. Won that game. Play the game as well. You don't have to do as good as I did in this game, but like I said, it just definitely makes it easier. I went 50 and 11, like that's pretty nuts for a game where like, I'm not even boosting in that game, so call me Korean Savage, baby. So now what you want to do is you want to go to your matchmaking summary, and you want to look at who is the shittiest player in the lobby. So there's a couple people that are pretty shit. This guy went 10 and 32. He's awful. BCP, FCO, or whatever his name is. Bell. Bell Kit. So remember his name. Go over to your recent players. And look for him in your recent players. Whoever's the shittiest kid in the lobby. It's also good if you have like one or two people that did shitty. Because that way if you can't get into one of their games. You try to get into the other person's game. You want to look and wait until they, it says in pregame lobby. Once it says in pregame lobby. Join that shit as fast as you can. What this is going to do is rather than you starting up a new game and you getting your skill based matchmaking lobby, you're going to join theirs. And, and it's going to be a shit show. Everybody's going to be awful. 
You're literally gonna be Korean Savage in this bitch. You're gonna be the best player in the whole lobby. And that's basically it, guys. You join their lobby, you have a little bit of fun, and you destroy them. And then basically, you just rinse and repeat. And the thing is, the more noob lobbies that you get, the more recent players that you're gonna have that are just constantly going negative, and you can just rinse and repeat and just join those people's lobbies too. Because you're not always gonna be able to join the same person's lobby. Some people get off, they join parties with their friends, they take a break. You're not gonna be always getting in the same lobbies. But if you can build your recent players up with just dog shit people, you can do this all day. And it's a lot of fun. It literally makes Call of Duty playable. It's it's the best exploit that I've ever found in this game, and I'm gonna have a lot of fun tonight. I'm gonna play Call of Duty. I was gonna play Halo, I was gonna play Overwatch, but this makes it way better. Like, look at these kids, man. Like, quad kill, like, they they all just run out. It's, it's, it's hilarious, like... That kid was just shooting at his teammate. He's not even shooting at me. <laughs> Call me Korea Savage, baby. I'm going to drop a nuke doing this. And I'm going to post it. I want to get into a shipment game with a bunch of noobs like this. So I can just get like 150 kill gameplay for you. But this is going to make creating content way easier. It's going to make the game way more fun for you guys as well. Anyways. If this helped you out, as always, drop that subscribe, you know, hit me, hit me up with a subscribe, hit me up with a comment, drop a like, let's see if we can get 15 of those likes on this game, I hope you, or this gameplay, I suppose, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay, I hope you guys enjoy the exploit, maybe we can all have fun playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare now, I mean, hell, if they don't want to fix the game, fuck it, I'm just gonna do this all day, easy chopper gunner right there, no problem, like, it's, it's just ridiculous. It's it's the most fun I've had in this Call of Duty since it's come out. It literally makes the game playable. Uh, this chopper gunner is hilarious. Like, they just keep running outside. None of them are using ghosts. It's, it's not like a normal lobby. It's literally like playing against bots. It, it's insane. Subscribe to my channel if you like the video. You know hit the like button drop a comment down below love you all enjoy the rest of the gameplay that's pretty much it have fun Oh yeah, and a final little thing, 68 and 15, and this was only my first time trying this. So, go out there and uh, get some new bloobies, doogies, these people.